Um, hello, my name is Sandra Carrasco and I am one of the Spanish teachers for Oxfordshire Adult Learning, which is part of Abingdon and Whitney College. We offer a wide range of courses from beginners, for people who haven't had any exposure to the language, all the way through very advanced courses for people who want to improve or maybe they don't want to lose their Spanish. So all the information for those courses are in the website um, and uh, we hope to see you soon in, uh, one, in one of them. Thank well, this lesson is um, a lesson that we do in our intermediate course. So students in our intermediate course are students who have done roughly two years of Spanish. Um, so they have quite a good command of the language. And uh, this is one of the lessons we, uh, or one of the topics we cover in that, in that course. So this topic or this lesson is about asking a favor, pedir un favor, y también pedir permiso para hacer algo, ask permission to do something. So they sound very simple, but they are very important in everyday language. And sometimes we don't really know how to construct those um, sentences. So that's where we're going to focus. And we're going to focus on these two things using a verb that is very, very familiar for us, which is verbo poder. With that verb, we're going to do both things. Pedir un favor y pedir permiso. This is poder. We're all familiar with the conjugation. So poder es puedo, puedes, puede. Podemos, podéis, pueden. Now, we're not going to use them all. We're going to focus on puedo y podemos. Can I? Can we, of course, that is asking permission. O, puedes, podéis, can you. And that is going to be very useful if you're asking for a favor. So, puedo, podemos, pedir permiso. Puedes, podéis, asking a favor. Can you or can I? So, as I said, we've got poder para pedir un favor o para pedir permiso. So, let's, let's do the permiso first. Permission. Um, to do something. Can I do something? For that, as I said, we use puedo o podemos. Puedo is if it's you only. Podemos if it's a group. Can we? Can I? Pedir un favor. Now you're asking someone else to do something for you. In this case, we need to use puedes, can you, podéis, can you as a group, it's a plural. Pero, puedes ver que hay otra forma aquí. You can see we've got another form. That is the bid for usted. So, puedes, can you, puede usted, that's a formal. Podéis, can you as a group, Pueden, can you formal, okay? So, aquí tenemos a una persona. Here we've got a person. Let's say Juan. Aquí tenemos a Juan. Y Juan tiene mucho calor. He's very hot. Tiene mucho calor. Uf, tengo mucho calor. ¿Puedo abrir la ventana? Can I open the window? Again, puedo. ¿Puedo yo abrir la ventana? But Juan can also say, Uf, tengo mucho calor. ¿Puedes tú abrir la ventana? Can you open the window? So here he's saying, can I? Can I have permission to open the window? But here, he's asking for a favor. Can you, puedes tú abrir la ventana? Again, puedo, puedes. So you see, the same verb all the time. También 
Podemos utilizar otras formas para hacer la frase más formal. We can use other forms of poder if you want to make it more formal. Puedo abrir la ventana. Can I open the window? But then if you want to make it a little bit more formal, podría abrir la ventana. You use the conditional, but still poder. Puedes tú abrir la ventana, es informal, but you could also make it a nicer way and say, podrías tú abrir la ventana. Again, we're using poder all the time. All the forms, but always poder. See? ¿Sí? Now, with this, look at these different situations that you can encounter in Spain. You might use them. So, la primera, estás en un restaurante, you are in a restaurant, en la mesa de al lado tienen aceiteras. So, in the table next to yours, they've got some olive oil and vinegar, some dressings. En tu mesa, no. You don't have any of that on your table. Necesitas alinear tu ensalada. You need to dress your salad. Now, how would you ask the person in that table if you can have the uh, dressing? Otra situación, another situation. Necesitas usar la impresora de un colega para imprimir un trabajo. You need to use the printer. Um, because you need to print something at work. You don't have a printer. How can you ask your colleague if you can use the printer? Another situation. So, for example, in class, you can have that in class. Necesitas un diccionario, pero no tienes diccionario. Sin embargo, tu amigo tiene un diccionario. How would you ask your friend if he can borrow that dictionary? Another situation. Necesitas tomar un autobús para ir al centro. So you need a bus to go to the city center. Pero no estás seguro de cuál tomar. You're not very sure about which one to take or which one is the one. How would you ask someone in the train, uh, in the coach station, which one is the bus? Another situation. Um, estás en un parque. Estás en un parque, you are in a park, y hay un banco con una persona solo. So there's only one person sitting on the bench. Hay sitio para otra persona. There is another space there. So how would you ask the person sitting if you can sit down? Another situation. Tienes un billete de 50 euros. You've got a 50 pound note. Y necesitas billetes más pequeños. You need smaller notes. How would you ask someone if they can change you? So in here, you've got favors and permissions. Un favor, permiso. So using poder, this puedo, puedes. Using, let me see if I can go back. Oh. Or using Puedes, asking for permission or asking for a favor. Using this structure, can you write? How would you ask something in those situations? So if I put them back again. Muy bien. So if we take the first situation, uh, you are on the table and uh, you need um, the other people to pass some olive oil. So you are asking a favor, really. You're asking the other person to pass you the dressing. So if you're asking a favor, we need to move here. Puedes o podéis, puede o puede. Because maybe the people that are on that table, you don't know them, it's better to use the formal. So imagine you use puede because it's one person. So we can start our question with Disculpe. 
excuse me, disculpe, sí. And then, puede, can you, and we've made it formal because we might not know the, the person, puede, pasarme, and you pass me, Disculpe, ¿puede pasarme la aceitera, por favor? We've got the puede, that we had in the slide, can you? Pasarme, pass me, la aceitera, the dressing, por favor. And that's how you ask for a favor, can you? ¿Sí? For the next one, we had... Well, necesitas usar la impresora de un colega para imprimir un trabajo. Okay, so in this case, you can ask for permission to use that printer. Now, if you're asking for permission, si pides permiso, entonces tienes que utilizar puedo. Can I? So, puedo, because it's permission to use something, puedo utilizar tu impresora. Puedo utilizar tu impresora. Can I use your printer? And remember that after puedo, después de puedo, all the verbs are in infinitive, ¿ya? Yeah? Pasar, utilizar. Puedo utilizar tu impresora. Can I use your printer? You can also say, can I, puedo utilizar tu impresora para imprimir un trabajo. So we've got puede there and puedo here. So, si vamos a la siguiente, a. Ah, necesitas un diccionario. So you need the dictionary, you don't have one, you want to borrow one from your friend. So again, you can say, can I use your dictionary? And again, you're asking for permission. So you can say, puedo utilizar tu diccionario again. Can I use your dictionary? Puedo okay. So, can I use your dictionary? Puedo utilizar tu diccionario. So that's permission. Can I have your permission to use the dictionary? But maybe you want to ask a favor. Puedes prestarme tu diccionario. Can you lend me your dictionary? So you see, it's not one or the other. Sometimes you have use, you can um, use both. In this one, you're asking permission to use the dictionary. In this one, you're asking the other person to do you the favor of lend lending uh, their dictionary. So there are more than one option for the situations um, in the other uh, slide. So that can be the second one. What else do we have here? Oh, here. Necesitas tomar un autobús. You need to take the bus. Pero no estás seguro de cuál tomar. So, um, you need to ask for information. 
So again, you're asking a favor. You're asking someone the favor of telling you when um, or what number that bus is to go to the city center. So if you're asking someone a favor, then it's where this is this one. Sorry. Mm, this one. But again, we have to make it a little bit formal because, um, you know, is someone you don't know. So you could say puede, here, puede, that is the usted form, that's a good uh, form to use. So puede, can you, because it's um, a favor, can you tell me? Puede decirme cuál es el autobús para el centro. Okay. So, can you tell me? Puede. You're asking um, the favor. So, you use the second person for that. Puede decirme cuál es el autobús para ir al centro. Let's have a look at the other one. Okay. Estás en un parque y hay un banco con una persona sola y hay sitio para otra. Tú te quieres sentar en ese banco. You want to sit down on that bench. Te quieres sentar en ese banco. Now, you're asking for permission. You're asking, can I sit on the bench? So, si es permiso, then is this one, can I? So we can start our request with puedo. Puedo, can I sit? Puedo sentarme Puedo sentarme aquí. Puedo sentarme aquí. Can I sit here? Puedo sentarme. You're asking permission. Can I? So, that one. Y después, finalmente, tenemos este. Tienes un billete de 50 euros y necesitas billetes más pequeños. So here, you're not asking for permission. No, es un favor. Estás pidiendo un favor. You're asking for a favor. Estás pidiendo a alguien que te cambie 50 euros. You're asking someone to change you that money. So if it's a favor, it's no puedo. Is puedes. It's the other one. So puedes. Cambiarme 50 euros. Can you change for me 50 euros? Puedes cambiarme 50 euros en billetes más pequeños. Where this, because you're asking a favor, is this form and not this. And that is how you will resolve these six situations. So this is a, a sample of um, what you can find in our courses. In this lesson, we've covered a very practical situation. How can you ask someone for a favor or how can you ask permission to do something? Um, the lesson is practical, is, um, is aim to learn a language that you can use and uh, we do that in the lesson. I hope you have found this interesting and if you need or if you want to find out anything more about the courses, um, the website is the place to go and you'll find all the information you need there. The, the lessons are small. So there are, there are small groups with plenty of opportunities for speaking and, and practicing that oral aspect of the language. The um, lessons are very interactive, lots of uh, speaking among students, uh, we all learn from each other and it's a very relaxed 
uh, atmosphere and we try to make lessons uh, practical and fun. Um, yeah, I don't yeah, know what uh, else to well, say. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, go, uh, so we plan to make lessons practical and fun and I look forward to meeting you on the way. Okay, so um, we try to organise the lessons um, so they are practical, fun, and we are looking forward to welcoming you in one of our uh, courses.